Hello, um, we received uh, recently some question about uh, how to create a menu and also some question about uh, what the meaning of a foreground, what the meaning of a background. So this is basically the idea of this uh, little uh, video tutorial. Um, so as you may or may not have noticed, uh, in Panda Suite you have three levels uh, for your creation. Uh, first, you have your screens. Uh, right there, so it's the basic unit. Uh, this is really uh, when you are starting to create with Panda Suite, you are creating some screens, but above your screens, you can put a foreground, and uh, behind, below your screen, you can put a background. So, uh, what does this stand for? Uh, basically, uh, foreground are used to create menu. Uh, this is a kind of uh, layer that you put above your screen. So you can just create like one menu and then put it on every screen. So you just create once and then you put it on every screen and that's done. Uh, all your work is uh, over. So this is a great way for you to save some time. Uh, what about the background? Uh, backgrounds are mainly when you want to create some kind of nice effects uh, with the background image and so on. Uh, to be honest, you will be probably must be using the foreground that the background, so let's focus on that. Um, one other big question is when you start creating Panda Suite is like, okay, uh, you start creating, you put your content and then you want to create your menu. Uh, what we really suggest is that you create first the content of your screens, so your pages, uh, basically, and then you create your menu uh, afterwards. Uh, why that? You will see uh, during the little uh, video that uh, to create your menu, you need to create the interaction between your buttons and to your screens and to the right page uh, of each section of your app. So you probably be <laughs> better having created already your screens and to have the, the, the right uh, content to be able to create your, your menu. So uh, for this little uh, video, I've made an example. So this is fake, but uh, let's imagine I just created a magazine app uh, with a little uh, introduction. So this is my first screen, uh, a news uh, page. So this is my second screen and uh, some um, headline subject that has been detailed for my third screen. So uh, as I said, I just created first the content and now my content and my pages are like, okay. And I want to create my menu and I wanted to have a little icon on the top left of my screen. And I want when I'm clicking on it uh, to have a little menu that appear on the left side. So. To create that first, from now on, we're on the screen parts. So if I want to go to the foreground, uh, I just need to click here in the in the screen window uh, and there is a little menu and I can choose foreground and my uh, the content of my window will be changing for like my foreground. So I can create as many foregrounds as I want and uh, you need to create a foreground for each um, situation of your menu uh, that you want to have. For example, if you want see that sometimes in your app there is no menu at all because for example there is a little video to introduce your app or whatever you want, uh, you will be creating a first foreground that is empty. Uh, but let's say that for us we really just want to have always a little icon on the on the top left. So I'm gonna be starting to create in the first foreground and in this one i'm gonna use my icon i'm gonna insert it uh, so i didn't create it, uh, an icon first i'm gonna be creating it using the shapes and all the great things you have in in panda suite so let's add a shape so like here i'm gonna put it on the top I'm gonna change the color. So in the property window, um, I'm gonna make it like gray. And uh, as I'm creating like my little icon, I just wanted to tell you that 
if you have some kind of subject uh, that you want us to uh, present in the next video, please just uh, send us a message, just leave a message maybe here uh, on the comments of uh, this little video. Uh, we are regularly uh, uh, checking uh, if there is some new message um, because all the content of this video are based on your questions and the, the difficulties that you may have. So please just discuss with us and if there is something that is quite unclear for you right now, uh, we will create a video for you. So don't be shy, we will be happy to have some news about you. So I was creating a really awesome uh, icon menu, uh, as you noticed. Uh, I used the shapes, some white shapes to have this little icon. And uh, this will be great. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to align uh, things together uh, because I just created them, but I'm not sure they are at the right place. So if I'm checking, there is like, yeah, this seems to be quite okay, but I'm going to select the three of them and I'm going to be using the vertical distribution to be sure that there is enough space in each one. And if I want to align them on the left, so here I just checked it's, it's okay. But to do that, I'm just going to select all my three elements and then I'm going to reselect the one I want to use uh, as a reference. And then I'm going to be clicking on the horizontal align left button to make sure it's okay. So uh, I'm going to select everything, click on the command and the G. And that's how I'm going to create a container. So a container puts all my elements together and it's much more easier for me to work with them. And I can do a lot of things, but this is not the basic of this video. So I'm not going to be speaking about that anymore, but um, it's a group now. And uh, now I'm going to be like creating the left side menu that's going to be appearing. So I'm going to create also a shape here, here. And you know, I'm putting it outside of my screen. So uh, at the basic state of my, uh, of my menu, it won't appear. This will only appear from the left side uh, when I'm clicking on the menu. So here I'm going to add some text. My text here will be quite simple. So let's say this one is, uh, so there is introduction, intro. Okay, another one will be news. Another one will be headline and the fourth will be interview. So this is the basic state of my menu. Uh, I'm going to create a new another state using the orange button here uh, to add the animation, the transition to make my um, to make my uh, menu appear. So I'm create the second state so I can see it's linked with the first one and this is how my animation will be created. And in this one, I want my menu to be here on the left. So as you can see, I have the two situation of my menu. Now I'm going to be linking them. Okay. So I'm going to be clicking on my little icon and in the interactivities window, I'm going to create an action which says when I'm tapping on the icon, I'm going to go to uh, another foreground, which will be the foreground number two. Okay, so now I have the, the transition between the two of them. And you should know that when you're creating a foreground, this will automatically, the first one will be automatically displayed on every screen. So for me, it's going to be perfect because when I'm going to be 
previewing my project, it will automatically appear. So let's click and see the preview. Here, when I'm clicking, I have my menu, so this is fine. If I wanted like to really say on each screen which foreground will be attributed, uh, I need to go to the screen size, I need to go to the property windows, and here in the property window, I can choose the kind of the foreground that I want, which, which will be the first one, the second one, or another one if I created some more. Okay, so now it's okay, but I missed something. You know, I've been creating the menu, my menu is opening, so that's fine, but I don't have my action yet between the selection. So when I'm saying I'm clicking on this part and I'm actually going to this part. So let's go back to my foreground and uh, I'm gonna go to the first foreground because this one is the parent foreground so everything I'm gonna be doing on the first one will be also uh, inherited to the second one so let's go back to this one to to save some time and efforts and energy so on the first one I'm gonna be selecting the first text so introduction and let's create an active interactivity which say when I'm clicking on the introduction I'm gonna go to the screen introduction. The same with news. When I'm tapping, I'm going to the screen news. And let's do the same with the two other parts. So this is not that complicated. Interview, go to screen, change the screen, interview. And as I said, if I go and I check to the second uh, foreground and I'm selecting the text and I can notice the interactivity has been properly created. So now let's save and let's try that. So when I'm clicking, when I'm going to the news, I go directly to the news and to the headline the same. Next. And last step, as you noticed, when I'm like uh, doing that, my menu is still there. Why that? Because I didn't say that I want my menu uh, back to the initial situation. So this is really easy to do that. I'm going to go back to the foreground. And while I have my uh, actions, let's say I want to change to this screen, I'm going to add another action. We'll say while I'm going to this screen, I want also to change the foreground to go to the foreground number one. Just need to do the same one with the other action I created. So yeah, I can really create as many actions as I want, even on the same trigger, you know, if the action is not the opposite, you can really do whatever you want. So let's preview. And here, when I'm going to the news, my menu is coming back the same with a line. So now it's all done. Um, what you need to remember is that in your application, there is different kind of layers. We are, you have the foreground, the screens, and the background. Uh, first, foreground are mainly used for menu. Uh, so this will be really uh, the, how you will be using it. Uh, and also what you need to, know, need to know is that when you are creating a project and you want to add some menu, you should first uh, work on the content, on your pages, and then add the menu. Because uh, in this way, you will be able to really create the, the nice interaction that, uh, that goes uh, to the right page. So uh, I hope you liked this little video and this was helpful. Uh, if you like it, don't hesitate to tell it uh, with us uh, and say I like. And also if you have some kind of comments, don't hesitate to send us a message. Thank you.